Suck on that, Jew boy. Suck on that. Jew boy. It hurts me that you would choose a phrase that throughout history has been used against my, I want to say, our people by popsicle sellers throughout Eastern European countries who refuse to sell their wares. They would taunt our people with derisive offers. Suck on that, you boy. Suck on that. But they wouldn't give them the popsicles. So you bring up a very painful era <clears throat> very painful time in the cosmology, the broad cosmology of our people. And you try to hurt with your words. I understand it's a simple reaction to my having hurt you with mine. I did call you a douchebag. It was behind your back in a private conversation with a man named Steve A.G., whom I remembered having other interactions with. He's a real friend because between each meeting, even if our meetings tend to be cyber, the next time we interact, we both can feel confident that we remember each other. You are not great in that department. So yes, I called you a douchebag. I had no idea you'd hear it. It was a private conversation. I apologize nonetheless. As for saying that you've ruined this shit wheel we call sad sack conversation. You have not. I shouldn't have said it. You were one of the floats we invited to the parade or whatever the hell your analogy is. So I'm sorry. Go ahead, make it your own. Do weird things with the lights. Make your eyebrows go crazy. Knock yourself out. You silly douchebag.